The overall goal of the following experiment is to investigate the effect of proteases on the epithelial sodium channel, or ENAC, heterologously expressed in Xenopus slavus oocytes. This is achieved by first measuring the amylaride-sensitive whole cell current in an oocyte. After allowing the oocyte to recover, it is exposed to protease and the current is measured again. Then, in parallel, oocytes are biotinylated and subjected to western blotting to monitor the appearance of gamma enac cleavage fragments at the cell surface. Results are obtained that show a causal link between channel cleavage and channel activation based on a combination of the two-electrode voltage clamp technique and the biotinylation approach. The main advantage of this technique over existing methods like unpaired measurement is that the oocyte can be exposed to proteases or other pharmacological agents between the two measurements for a variable length of time in a small volume of test solution. Two days after isolating Xenoposlavus oocytes and injecting with CRNA according to the text protocol, use ND96 to fill one syringe of a gravity-fed perfusion system and ND96 containing amylaride to fill a second syringe. After mounting the syringes 50 centimeters above the bath chamber, turn on a 150 watt halogen cold light source and adjust it to 10 centimeters above the oocyte bath chamber allowing good visualization with the binocular microscope. Turn on suction and place the suction tube opposite the superfusion tube's adapter in the oocyte bath.